And then you get this outpouring of grace from the priest. A sacrament is a guaranteed encounter with Christ. And the priest, as the instrument of Jesus, puts his hands over your head and gives you grace. That grace makes you stronger, makes you better, makes you holier, so that the next time you encounter with the opportunity to cheat or do something wrong, you now have the strength to fight and say no. The church calls us, scripture calls us, God calls us to be holy and living examples of God. Your famous youth minister, Brad McKinnon, says, you may be the only Bible that someone ever reads. So go out there, preach the gospel by everything that you do, every action. Be honest and virtuous. And really strive to be holy, and men, holy men and women of God. Amen? Amen. 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 Guys, it's going to be tough. Everyone makes mistakes, even Bible Boy. I mean, I smacked that poor boy four times last week. Just do the best you can. Stop cheating. Yes. So we will be smited if we type in cheats to a computer. Uh, no, but I, I, you know, I'm like kind of like Santa Claus. I know when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake, I know you're bad or good, and I have a big Bible that smacks people in the head. But what's wrong with cheating on a computer? <coughs> well, it depends. If you're playing by yourself, then the only person you're cheating is yourself. It's cutting yourself short. The problem is usually what happens is people start cheating by putting in a code while they're playing by themselves on their console with no one else. But then they keep using these cheat codes when they're playing with their friends. And then what that ends up doing you is... You can do that? Yeah. Then the game crashes. Well, I'll tell you that, man, there's, not, there's nothing less fun than playing a video game for and always like going, oh, I'm almost just about there, I'm about to beat my buddy, and then have him like always win, and then find out later, I had a friend in high school who always cheated when we played video games. And it wasn't until years later that I found out the reason I never beat him wasn't because he was better than me, it was because he took a shortcut, and that was really hurtful. It was hurtful to our friendship and our relationship, but it was also hurtful to the fact that I always thought I wasn't good enough. It had a negative effect. And that's why sometimes cheating even by yourself is a game of turkey. How do you cheat in the multiplayer game? It's creepy. <laughs> did, what did he just like look at your screen? No, he was using codes. So like he would turn cheats on in games and we didn't know that he turned them on for him and not for us. Like what kind of games? I don't uh, James Bond had a few cheats in it. You could turn oh, on for six yes, certain players yes, but not yes, for all of them. So like what? Cheats in it. Uh, like he took less damage than we t did. He messed with his handicap. So like if I shot him in the head, he shoot me in the head once and I'd fall down dead. I shoot him in the head three or four times and he wouldn't die. And I was like, I just, he's like, oh, you missed. No, I got him. Oh, I know that. That's cheating.